What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this if this is your first time watching my channel, uh, this is Sherry. Uh, in this channel, I mainly f share about my opinion about some stocks and also some of my investment journey. And uh, today, I'm gonna talk about Spotify. Uh, the ticker symbol is SPOT. So uh, recently, I listened to Spotify a little bit, bit more, and uh, I have uh, up updated to the uh, Spotify Premium uh, and previously although I've listened to Spotify for many years but I always use the free version because I'm very cheap I don't want to pay for the subscription and I think listen to ads is no big deal for me and it can save me some money every month but since uh, nowadays we are working from home like if I'm doing some exercise or if I'm reading if I'm working I will also want to uh, listen to some music so that's why I feel like the ad is so annoying so uh, I, I I just don't want to listen to the ads over and over again so I just uh, got my premium version and today I did some research about the, com the company and I want to share with you like three major findings I found so the first one uh, is uh, it's actually the thought I always have about the product is that the company have a very good AI rec uh, algorithm that they can track your browsing history and they can predict the music that you will like or they will uh, collect a list like what I will see in my daily mix that uh, some of the music I've listened previously and some of the music I may want to listen so uh, for example i like to listen to both like pop music uh, hip-hop music as well as k-pop music so spotify will give me like uh, five daily mix and uh, like w one of them it would be like the daily mix all about uh, k-pop another one will be all about hip-hop and the three the third one will be about the pop music which i feel like is gave me a lot of options because you know people don't want to listen to the same music over and over again every day and uh, every day they have different situation and they have different mood so so the pre preference the preference of music kind of uh, change from time to time so I think that variety that Spotify provided has been has been make my life much more better because after I listen to music I like, I just feel very happy. And the uh, second thing I want to talk about is a competition. As you know that the industry is not uh, like uh, the sole player in the industry, but after doing the research I found that Spotify is the market leader in the industry and it accounts for 35% of market share. And also one of its competitor is Apple Music and as well as uh, Google uh, YouTube Music. Yeah. So I haven't uh, listened to any of the Apple Music before because uh, for some reason I just think Apple Music would be expensive. But when I do the research today, the pricing is the same. All are $9.99. So maybe in the future I have a chance I would like to try Apple Music. And uh, I do have listened to YouTube music, so now I will do a comparison about YouTube music and Spotify. So first, Spotify has the uh, like music recommendation and uh, the uh, automatically generated playlist, uh, like daily pl playlist, weekly playlist uh, for the customers to choose. While uh, YouTube music doesn't have that, it just has the music you have searched. So it. So that doesn't differentiate the the way we consume music before is like we consume the music uh, based on what we search for or we're looking for. So I think in that sense, uh, Spotify has created a trend or it has uh, like give the give, make the users know that they they want that it's a it's a music streaming not just uh, one music or several music you pick up it's just uh, the whole bunch of music that uh, in the same style or they found uh, you uh, you may like because of some of the 
users who are listening to the music you are listening also listen to other music so that's why they can recommend those to you but either way I think Spotify has a unique product in this industry and it's not something that can easily be like copied by the competitors uh, although Spotify is not monopoly but in my mind the, when I want to listen to streaming music or when I'm looking for some uh, niche market like some background music or small musicians I will go to Spotify rather than like other channels and Spotify not only have the music they also have the podcast like if you want to listen to Robin Hood Snacks the daily uh, financial related news you can also listen to Spotify so that means they have a variety of product lines and they are continuously developing the product for me it's very uh, beneficiary because uh, when we look at the screen every day sometimes we just want to be away from the screen and listen to something so yeah instead of, of reading the news like Robin Hood snack I would like to just to listen to it and to let my eyes to take a break. The third thing I want to talk about is the financial situation of the company. Um, so I know a lot of investors are curious to know and uh, so since Spotify is uh, established in 2008 and being uh, listed in the stock market in 2018 so it doesn't have a lot of like data for us to consider but I look at the data on their 2019 report I, do, I find that the revenue is steadily growing as their user base is steadily growing and uh, until now they have the uh, user of like they have 130 million subscribers which means who pay the uh, monthly fee like 9.99 or 14.99 depends on whether it's individual or family subscription and also they have the uh, monthly active users of 200, uh, 200 million which shows that their user base is quite big and uh, their product is very popular so when I look at the financial status I found that uh, their revenue is growing from time to time and uh, their net income is also growing but uh, they haven't made a profit yet so their net loss is becoming uh, smaller and smaller uh, and uh, as for the free cash flow, so uh, I think five years ago they have negative uh, free cash flow, but now they have the positive 400 million free cash flow. So that shows that the company is doing good, they are generating revenue, and uh, they will give the investors confidence. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the price and whether it's a good time to buy Spotify. So today the price of Spotify is 153 dollars. And comparing with the historical high, I think it's 160 something. The price is relatively high because uh, recently Spotify has uh, increased the number of users. And uh, from the fundamental analysis uh, I did previously, I found that uh, it's like uh, most of their revenue stream comes from the subscription uh, rather than from the ad revenue. So even though there's maybe the decreasing of the revenue. The increasing of the subscription will make up for their for that revenue area. So if I stock price is uh, very high, and uh, although I think it has a, a high potential to grow, and it does shape the industry of music and how the consumers consume music from album by album until nowadays they wanna have the streaming music on demand I think uh, that do have a, the stock price do have a very high potential to grow further but um, for me as a conservative uh, investor I was wondering whether there are some other invest investment opportunity right now like like if I look at the stocks I have talked about previously like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, uh, Spotify and compare with the risk and the uh, uh, current price whether the price is cheap enough to buy in so uh, currently maybe I will still wait for a while 
Although I believe the price would uh, going up, but uh, just uh, I feel like there's a lot of uncertainties uh, because of the competition and uh, because of the economy and uh, so. But I do think this is uh, stock has a high pr potential. They do good product and the company is continue uh, is gradually making the progress in uh, making the profit. Hopefully, it will it will make the profit soon. I think it's very interesting to look at the company today because I'm a person who loves music, and I think uh, in the current situation, we may listen to music more because uh, we, we seem to have less commuter time and we have more uh, so-called uh, free time we can spend. So there's definitely opportunities for the companies to grow in this period. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.